Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great. I am Neha Rajbanshi and I welcome you all in today's class that is English class of class 10th. So students, we are discussing our topic that is letter writing. So in our examination, in the writing section, we will have one question in which we have to write one letter. And in today's video, we will discuss formal letters. We will see the pattern, the structure and how can we write formal letters. So we will see some of the example. Okay. So now let's begin our today's video. So here we are having one question. So first of all, let's read the question and let's try to understand that to what are the things that we have to cover in our letter. So now we have to write this letter to the principal and why for cleanliness in school, toilets, etc. And it will be a complaint letter. Okay. So it means we have to write one formal letter to our school principal. And why this is a formal letter? Because personal letters or we can say informal letters are the letters that are written to our family family members or we can say to our friends but now we have to write this letter to our school principal so this is the reason this is considered as a formal letter and in this letter we have to use a very formal language okay so now we have to write to this letter to our school principal and in that letter we have to complain about the cleanliness in school toilets Okay, and now let's see the detailed question that is given to us. So let's read, write a letter to the principal of your school, bringing to his notice the need for cleanliness in the school toilets and classrooms. So yes, we have to cover these things in our letter. We have to write a complaint. Why? Because the school toilets and the school classroom, they are not at all clean. They are dirty. So we have to bring our principal's notice towards the this side and to give you suggestions for improvement and at the same time in our letter we have to give some suggestions also some you know advice also that how this condition it can be improved okay so we have to cover all these things and then we have to write one formal letter to our school principal i hope the question is clear the, all the things all the points that we have to cover these are clear and now let's see that how can we write this formal letter so first of all we have to address to us school principal so we are starting with the principal okay next the name of the school was not given in our question so we can use any school name here so we are writing Jawaharlal Nehru model school Jaipur and next we are writing the date so we are writing September 15 2022 clear next we are addressing our principal as a sir and now we are starting our you know subject to matter or we can say the body of the letter so let's see how can we write this letter i beg to invite your kind attention to the need for cleanliness in the school toilets and classrooms so because this is a formal letter so we have to start our letter you know we don't need to write any general sentence in the beginning of the letter but but we have to start our point we have to start writing about the purpose that what is the purpose of writing the letter so in the first line we are writing this thing that i beg to invite your kind attention in this line you are having so many options you can use anyone here like you can also write in this manner that i want to draw your kind attention okay or you can say that with a lot of respect i want to say this thing i want to convey this thing so there are so many options so you can choose any option any line from these options so here we are writing that i beg to invite your kind attention to the need for cleanliness and where in the school toilets and classroom so these are the details that were given to us in the questions we are using the same details here next it was said to notice their present condition so the present condition of the toilets the present condition of the school classroom that is not at all good they are not in a good condition so because of this the present condition it is very sad we are very much sad because of the present condition because it is very bad next they stink very badly so now we have to give some details that what is the problem with the present condition why the toilets why we are saying that toilets are not clean so what is the condition that we have to describe because we have to convince our school principal that the present condition is very bad so here we have to give a little 
लिटिल बिट ऑफ डिटेल अबाउट द प्रेजेंट कंडीशन सो टॉयलेट्स में यू नो क्या क्या होगा जिसकी वजह से हम बोलेंगे डेट द कंडीशन इज वेरी बैड सो डेट टू वी कैन राइट हेयर सो वी कैन मेक यू नो सम सेंटेंस रिगार्डिंग द प्रेजेंट कंडीशन सो वी आर राइटिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डेट दे स्टिंक वेरी बैडली नेक्स्ट नो वन कैन यूज देम विदाउट पुटिंग वंस हैंड कर चिफ ऑन द नोज सो बिकॉज ऑफ द स्मेल बिकॉज ऑफ द बैड स्मेल एंड वाई बैड स्मेल इज देयर वी हैव मैंशन डेट दे मीन्स स्कूल टॉयलेट्स दे स्टिंक वेरी बैडली एंड नाउ बिकॉज ऑफ दिस बैड स्मेल डेट इज देयर इन द टॉयलेट्स नो वन कैन यूज द टॉयलेट्स विदाउट पुटिंग वंस हैंड कर चिफ ऑन द नोज वॉटर डजेंट फ्लो इन दैम नाउ द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम वी आर coming to so now the next problem is that water doesn't flow in them so this is another common uh, problem that uh, you know all the school toilets they can have next uh, it is stops at uh, two or three places giving out a full smell so because the drainage is not pro uh, not working properly so because of this reason water stops at two or three places and because of that this bad it's the smell this foul smell is there in the school toilets the urine pots are broken. Okay. Next problem we are writing here that the urine ports they are also in a bad condition. Actually they are broken. Water taps do not function properly. Next we are writing about the water taps. So we are writing that water taps they are not functioning properly. Four languages written on the walls. Yes, this is another problem that can have in a school. So we are writing that uh, you know on the walls of the toilets there are. Uh, a uh, four language is written it means you know something is written on the school wall that is not at all acceptable that is not at all proper okay so these are the problems so we are writing these problems because we have to give details because we are saying that the school toilets they are not clean so we cannot write only this sentence that school toilets are not clean so please you know do something to uh, to improve the condition no we have to give some details that what are the problems what are the things that actually you know they are bothering us so we are writing the details we are giving the description here clear next the condition of the classrooms is also not good so in the question it was there that you know we have to talk about the toilets also and we have to talk about the condition of the classrooms also so in the beginning we have talked about the toilets and now we are talking about the classroom so now this is the reason we are changing the paragraph so student this is also very much important when you are writing the letter you have to be very careful that you know when you have to change the paragraph so now we are moving towards classrooms now we are moving towards the condition of the classroom so this is the reason we are changing the paragraph and in the next paragraph we are writing that the condition of the classroom is also not good and now again we have to give some description again we have to give some details regarding the condition of the school classroom so let's see how can we write one can't write with chalk on the blackboard so in the school they are blackboards so classroom mein matlab क्या क्या चीजें होती हैं जिनको हम यहाँ मेंशन कर सकते हैं जिनके बारे में हम कह सकते हैं कि यू नो दे आर नॉट वर्किंग प्रॉपरली दे आर नॉट इन अ गुड कंडीशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर राइटिंग अबाउट द ब्लैक बोर्ड एंड वी आर सेइंग दैट ब्लैक बोर्ड आर इन अ वेरी पुअर कंडीशन एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट वन कैन नॉट राइट विथ चौक ऑन द ब्लैक बोर्ड नेक्स्ट इन अ फ्यू रूम्स द प्लास्टर हैज फॉलन ऑफ नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम दैट कैन बी देर इन अ स्कूल सो वी आर राइटिंग दैट इन अ फ्यू रूम्स द प्लास्टर ऑफ द Walls that has fallen off. The furniture has not been polished or painted for long. Next problem. So we are mentioning furniture here. So obviously, classroom में furniture भी होता है. So next problem we are writing about the furniture. And what is the problem? That the furniture has not been polished or painted for a very long time. Broken furniture presents an ugly look, and because of that, now the furniture is in a very poor condition. now the furniture is a very bad condition and this broken furniture presents a very ugly look cleanliness is thus is a poor shape so now after presenting all the problems finally we are writing this thing that so finally we can say that cleanliness is a really poor shape in our school
okay so we have to present the present condition that what are the problematic areas what is the present scenario that we have to write okay because we have to actually convince our school principal that this thing is in a very bad shape and yes improvement is actually very much required here so yes we have to give all these details and now finally we are writing i request you to kindly see yourself these places so we have to make this request so finally we are writing this sentence that i request you to kindly see yourself these places so we are requesting to our principal that we have presented the situation you know in front of you but now finally we request you to please come in the classrooms please come in the toilets and see all these things by yourself this give a very bad impression to the outsider about the school and yes another very important line that we are writing here that because of this present condition because of the present scenario our school is having a very bad impression you know in the eyes of the outsiders i request you to improve the situation at the earliest and finally we are writing this thing that i request you to improve the situation and that too at the earliest and finally thanking you yours evidently the name was not given in the question so we can use any name here so we are writing manoj kumar okay so students in this manner we can write to one letter so there are few things that you have to take care first of all because it's a formal letter so the language of the letter it should be very formal clear next no unnecessary sentence should be there but at the same time you have to give all the required details all the required information regarding the point okay so in this manner and yes a perfect ending should be there perfect beginning should be there the format of the letter that should be appropriate and the sentence that you can frame that you can make by your own and then you will be able to write a perfect letter okay i hope this example is clear to you all next moving on we are having another example so now let's see against anti social elements in the public park so now we have to write one formal letter why because now in this letter we have to talk about anti social elements that are there in the public park so this is the topic and now we are having a detailed question in front of us so now let's read the question let's try to understand that what this letter is all about the park in front of your house has been illegally occupied by some people so now the problem that is given to us so what is the problem the problem is that in front of our house there is a park and this park has been illegally occupied by some people they have set up temporary dwelling units and are a security threat to the colony residents and now the problem is that they means the people who are having illegal occupation there so these people have set up temporary dwellings unit dwelling unit means their houses their their temporary homes they have made in the park and now they are a security threat to the colony residents okay so this is the problem now write a letter to the president of the resident welfare association drawing his attention to this threat and now finally we have to write a letter and we have to address this letter to the president of the residents welfare association and in this letter we have to draw his attention towards this problem or we can say towards this threat clear write the letter in about 100 to 150 words so this is the problem that is given to us all the details are given to us in the question okay so i am repeating i am summarizing all the things the problem is that there is a there is a park or we can say public park is there in front of our house and some people they have their temporary houses and all those houses are illegal okay and now you know they are actually anti social people and now they are as a security threat to for the people or for the residents of this colony this is the problem we have to cover this problem and we have to write to the letter to the president of the welfare association and we have to draw his attention towards this problem 
clear so this is the question this is the you know problem that is given to us and we have to write one letter covering all these things i hope question is clear so now let's see how can we write one formal letter so this is also considered as a formal letter i hope the difference is clear now what is formal what is personal right so let's see how can we start so first of all we are writing the address address was not given in the question so we can use any address here but it should be in a proper manner and in a proper format so let's see we are writing 1250 sector 14 ajmer and next we are writing the date that is march 3 2022 next to we have to address the president so we are writing the president resident welfare association ajmer clear next we are writing the subject so subject it is uh, really very much helpful in the letters because after reading the subject we can have one idea that what this letter is about or we can say what is the purpose of writing this letter so let's see how can we write the subject so what is the subject subject is illegal occupation of public park clear next we are writing dear sir and now we are framing all the sentence so let's see how can we write i wish to draw your attention to the ill use of the public park of sector 14 so in the beginning we are describing the problem because it's a formal uh, letter so yes the language should be very formal so we are writing that i wish to draw your attention we can write your kind attention also to the ill use of the public park of sector 14 when it is started 10 years ago it was site to watch and now we have to present to the problem so we are starting with this sentence that when it it means this public park so when this public park when it started to end when 10 years ago so when this public park it was there 10 years ago so at that time it was site to watch it means at that time it was very beautiful it was very well maintained park the children as well as the elders enjoyed being there every morning and evening and at that time this park was so useful and for all the people even children and the elders they also enjoyed this park and they used to go in this park in the morning time also and in the evening also some 2 years ago some person made a temporary hut in a corner of the park and began to live there and now we are coming to the problem so first of all we gave one basic introduction right and now we are coming to the problem so the problem is that some 2 years ago so now the present problem it actually started 2 years ago so 2 years ago some person was there and he made a temporary hut in a corner of the park and then he started to live there and obviously it was a illegal hut it was a illegal dwelling spot that he made there in the corner of the park it was a desolate corner and nobody seemed to mind but when he started to live there when he made this temporary hut so this hut was in a desolate corner of the park and no one was having any problem no one was having any issue so this was the reason that nobody seem to mind that why he is living here why he is making a hut here because no one was having any problem actually gradually the number of dwellers and the size of huts have increased but the real problem started when gradually slowly the number of dwellers and the size of huts have increased it means in the beginning there was only one person and he made only one hut in a desolate corner but gradually there were other people also he invited some more people so this is the reason that the number of dwellers number of people and the size of huts they also increased so now there was not only one person but there were so many people who started to live there and now obviously they were having so many huts there 
now some 10 persons with their children live there so we are mentioning that how many people are there in the park right now so we are writing that at uh, at present almost 10 persons and that too with their children they are living there i once tried to tell them that they should vacate the place and now we are writing that you know everyone is so, so much worried now because of this thing and this was the reason that i once tried also to tell them that they should vacate the place they should go away from our public park in reply they behaved very rudely but what was their response so we are writing that when we tried you know to make them understand that they should vacate the place they should go away because it's a public park so what was their response in reply they behaved very rudely they behaved in a very bad manner it is quite possible that they may be involved in some anti-social activities and because of their behavior now we are saying that it is very much possible that they may be involved in some anti-social activities i am afraid that they are a threat to the colony residents and finally we are writing that we are very much afraid why because these people they can be a threat to you know to the colony residents because they are having very rude behavior they behave in a very bad manner so maybe they are involved in some anti-social activities and this is the reason they are a threat they are a security threat to you know towards the residents of the is this colony i therefore request you to look into matter and restore the former glory of this park and now finally we are uh, requesting we are placing our request and we are writing that i therefore request you to look into this matter and restore the former glory of this park former glory that we have already mentioned in our letter that earlier this park was very beautiful it was well maintained and children adults everyone used to go there so now we are requesting this thing that you know the president he should look into this matter and you know he should solve the matter and finally he should restore the former glory of this park that this park used to have okay so it's a perfect letter we have covered all the things here we have presented the problem in a very perfect manner that how the problem started what is the problem and why this problem is very much urgent and why he should you know uh, he should uh, look into the matter why he should uh, uh, sort all the things and finally we are writing yours truly the name was not given in the letter so we can use any name so we are writing b l pari clear so in this manner we can write this letter i hope this letter is also clear next moving on we are having one more example with us so now let's see what this letter is about so now we have to write to municipal commissioner for creating children's park so now this formal letter we have to address to municipal commissioner and why in this letter we have to make one request the request for creating children's park clear so let's see the detailed question that is given to us you are Varun Joshi. So now we are having our name. So we have to imagine that our name is Varun Joshi. We are the resident of Pandu Nagar Udaipur. Next, your locality is overcrowded and the children need space to play. And now the problem is given to us. So the problem is that our locality is overcrowded and the children of our park, they need, you know, some space to play. Write a letter to the Municipal Commissioner West John Udaipur requesting him that the space around be used for a park, uh, you know, for the children. So now we have to write a letter and this letter we have to address to the Municipal Commissioner West John Udaipur. In the letter we have to request him and uh, we have to suggest also that there is uh, some space around and that space can be used for a park for the children clear question is clear so now let's see how can we write this letter so first of all we are writing the address address is 10 pandunagar udaipur next we are writing the date so i hope now this thing is clear that first of all we have to write the address 
next we have to write the date okay next we have to address uh, municipal commissioner so we are writing the municipal commissioner west john udaipur so all these details were given to us in the question so students again i am repeating this thing first of all read the question very carefully because you have to use all these details if you are not using these details you are writing you know the address by your own and the address is there in the question then definitely your marks they will be deducted because if there is no address no name then you can use any address any name but if you are having the details in the question then yes you have to use the same details so read the question very carefully write all the details from the question only clear next we are writing the subject so what is the subject we can say what is the purpose of writing this letter subject is using the space for a park for the children okay so we are addressing municipal commissioner as a sir and now let's see how can we write this letter i invite your kind attention to the fact that there is no children's park in our locality so yes in the beginning we are coming to the problem we are coming to the purpose that why we are writing the letter so we are writing this line that i invite your kind attention towards the fact that there is no children's park in our locality the locality is in fact overcrowded and yes our locality is overcrowded there are no open spaces for the children to play so the problem is that locality is overcrowded and there is no open space there is no space for the children where they can play children play in the streets and sometimes on the road side so now because of this thing that there is no open space there is no place for the kids and the kids the children obviously they have to play so now what they are doing now they are playing in the streets and even sometimes they are playing on the road sides this can result and has resulted in accidents and yes it is not at all safe to play on the road sides to play in the streets so we are writing this thing that this this means this habit the habit that they are playing on the road side they are playing on the street so this can result and yes it has resulted already in accidents okay so due to this fact there is a great need of more safe places to play so now we are saying that to, due to this fact that there is no space and because of this children are playing on the street they are playing on the road side and this is causing so many accidents so because of this reason we can say that there is a great need of more safe places to play so students this thing is clear i hope that your letter it should be convincing you have to present the problem in such a manner that really it has to look very urgent right because we have to convince the municipal commissioner about this thing that how important a children's park is in our locality so we have to give all the detail all the required information so we have to write these lines yes these lines will not be there in the question obviously but after reading the question we have to grasp the meaning of the question we have to you know get the idea that what we have to write in the letter and our letter yes it has to be very convincing okay next to at present only one open space exists inside the locality and now we are giving our suggestion also first of all we are we have presented the problem we have presented this thing that our locality actually needed a children's park and now we are giving our suggestion also so we are saying that at present one open space is there inside our locality it can be used for this purpose so we are giving the suggestion that this open space it can be used for this purpose this space can be used you know for making children's park uh if this is developed into a children's park it would solve the problem greatly and if this space if it will be developed into a children's park then definitely this problem that they are playing on the road side they are playing in the street this problem will be resolved this problem will be definitely solved because they are having no park and in our locality there is a open space so if that space will be developed into children's park so definitely they will play there on 
only okay then they will have one safe space one open space to play so they will play there and uh, you know because of that uh, this problem it will be solved it would be a safe and good place for the children to play so then obviously they will have a safe and good place and do uh, that place is also inside the locality so obviously it will be a very good place for the children to play clear now in the circumstances you are requested to visit the locality to assess yourself for the whole situation and now finally we are inviting the municipal commissioner and we are saying that first of all we have presented all the situations all the circumstances and now we are requesting him to visit the locality so that he can see the space by himself he can observe all the problems okay kindly assess yourself the possibility and utility of converting this space into a children's park so our you know we are inviting municipal commissioner to visit the locality and have a look you know to that open space so that he can judge he can observe all the possibilities that how that open space it can be converted into a children's park the residents of this locality shall feel obliged to you for this and now finally we are writing that if you will be helpful if your acts will be helpful and if you will convert that space into a children's park then definitely all the residents of this lo uh, locality they will be very much obliged they will be very much grateful you know for you because of your kind action and now we are writing thanking you yours faithfully the name of given in the question we are using the same name we are writing varun joshi clear so in this manner we can write uh, such letters i hope all the examples that we have seen they are clear to you all so yes formal letter it should be very formal the language that you are writing all the sentences that you are framing they should be very formal no unnecessary uh, sentence should be there but your letter has to be convincing so you have to give all the required information all the required details yes and do uh, we can say that vocabulary should be very good you can uh, not repeat sentence again and again and all the grammatical rules that you know tense should be there and all the parts of speech should be there structure of the sentence sequence of the sentence it should be you know in a perfect manner so these are the basic rules that you have to follow that you have to take care and then finally you will be able to write a very good letter okay so i hope this video is very much helpful to you all and all the examples all the questions that we have discussed all the things that we have covered everything is clear to you all in the next video we will continue with this topic so just be with me and see you in the next video thank you